Hey, do you try to read the minds of your competitors or coaches and teammates and worry about what they're thinking? Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Cohn. I'm continuing my series on the top 10 confidence killers for athletes. And today we're gonna to talk about another kind of particular or peculiar one called focusing too much on what you think others think. I call that mind reading. You're watching Sessions with Doc. So another peculiar confidence killer is when athletes tend to think about or assume others are thinking about them. We call that social approval in our work, but simply stated, you're thinking about what others are thinking and thus making things up in your head. I call that mind reading as well for athletes because they, they get a little giggle out of that, right? You can't read others' minds, can you? Even when you see a little frown, can you read their minds? No, you don't know what they're thinking unless they say something to you. That's the reality. But most athletes, I don't want to say most, but many of the athletes we work with, they have this social approval issue where they worry too much about what others think. Well, why is that a confidence killer? Here's the bizarre part. I was working with one of my ball players, and he said, I'm thinking about what the coach is thinking of me, and I'm thinking that the coach is thinking that I'm not doing well, that I'm throwing too many balls or I'm walking too many uh, players out there. And then the coach is somehow thinking that he's going to remove me from the game or take me out of the game. Well, guess what? That comes back to you as a confidence killer. Because if you assume the coach thinks you're not doing well and then you start to lose confidence over that, and that's the bizarre part, right? You're losing confidence over this process of mind reading what you're trying to think others are thinking. Maybe it's teammates, maybe it's coaches, it can be parents, um, it could be people in the stands. Athletes mind reading do a lot of things that just aren't based in reality. It's false assumptions that you're making. Okay, now that you know the process and how it's hurting your confidence, then what do you do about that mind reading? And Often, I find athletes can make this switch pretty easy. Okay, first, you have to be aware of, number one, who are you mind reading about? Is it about coaches? Is it about your teammates? Is it about people in the stands? Maybe your parents? What they're thinking? That's step one, and maybe all of them. Step two is, what are you mind reading about? What are the false assumptions or the narrative that you're making in your head that's creating havoc for you. Because remember, it's a distraction and it's a confidence killer and a source of pressure all in one when you're doing that mind reading. So what are the false assumptions you're making such as coach thinks I'm not doing well or my teammates don't want me on the team or the, my teammates think I should be taken out of the game. Those are the type of things that might be going through your head when you're doing that mind reading. So be aware, once again, Awareness, education, then application, obviously, that's my process here. Be aware of that, then you gotta cut it off and go, oh, Dr. Cohn told me that I'm mind reading into stuff here, and then I need to stop the mind reading. So what do you do? Recognize, and then simply refocus on what you're doing to something that's more important than thinking about what others are thinking. Right? I worked with a volleyball player once and I asked her, well, how much of the time are you thinking about the parents in the stands and what they think? And she said 40% of the time. Hey, if your mind is in the stands 40% of the time, you don't have the energy and the mental energy to focus on what's going on on the court. So simply cut off the mind reading, recognize it for what it is, try and refocus in that moment on what's important to the next point the next shot, the next at bat, whatever it may be. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. If you want more great tips and you want to download a free report, jump over to peaksports.com where we have lots of videos, podcasts, articles that you can read as well to educate yourself on the mental game. And certainly we do one-on-one -on -one personal coaching with athletes here at Peak Performance Sports. Thanks for watching. If you want to be notified when we upload more mental training videos just like this one, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
Just click on my picture in the upper right hand corner of this video. We've teed up two more mental training videos for you to check out today. Please visit our website if you want to learn more about mental training.